Teddy and I want to share some stories with you today. I will soothe your pain. I will ease your strain. I got nothing for you to gain. Hey, Twilighters, it's Wednesday, and I am so exhausted from working all week long two jobs that I decided I would do today's video from my bed because I'm so exhausted but I have some really awesome stories to share with you all today and I really hope you go and check them out okay and yes I'm fully aware that I still sleep with a teddy bear and I'm 25. The first story today is by an author named Alice underscore 23 she has some of the cutest, fluffiest Renesmee stories I have ever read. All of them are just so adorable and funny. They're really comedic. I don't just suggest you read this story alone. Read all of her stories because all of her stories are top-notch awesome. The story I am going to review, though, is my favorite one out of the bunch. It's called From Nessie to Jasper. And I thought this was a really interesting pairing of characters for the simple fact of it doesn't show just Renesmee's love for Edward and Bella or Jacob. It shows her love for Jasper too. And I love Renesmee because she loves everyone. And to be able to see a little Renesmee come home from shopping with her aunties and her mom and give a gift to her uncle Jasper is very just precious and that's what this story is to me it is precious you're gonna have to go and read from Nessie to Jasper to see exactly what kind of present little Renesmee gave him it is quite funny so to Alice underscore 23 your story gets three apples. The next story is by an author named Team Edward Only. Rock on because I am Team Edward too. And it is called Distractions. It is uh, completely finished and it is six chapters long. The chapters really aren't that long. There's a lot of spaces in between them but the flow is very good and it is extremely witty. Distractions revolves around Belle and Edward's honeymoon on Isle Esme and it starts off the night after Bella and Edward make love for the first time and the fact that Edward refuses to ever touch Bella again because he has hurt her and put bruises all over her and stuff. It is told from Bella's point of view and basically the whole story is Bella trying to scheme her way back into Edward's pants. And it is so funny. And the thing is, it is intellectually funny. She is a very smart writer. She gets the characters down really well. She has their personalities. She doesn't lose sense of those personalities. I've started really enjoying these stories that I consider missing scene stories. The scenes that we don't see. And this is definitely one of them. I highly recommend you go and check out Team Edward Only Distractions. And for this story, I give four apples. Normally when I read fan fiction, I tend to focus on Bella, Edward, Jacob, Renesmee when she's younger. But I really don't read a whole lot of stories that involve characters that you really don't know a lot about. The pick of the week this week is about Esme and Carlisle, which I have never read before. This is my first Esme Carlisle story. And it is called, And So the Rain Fell Down, by Emerald underscore C333. It is very beautiful. It's very well written transitioned very well. 
it is set during the time when it is just Edward, Esme, and Carlisle. It's set in the time before Rosalie joins the family. Esme is still fairly new to the family in this story, and she's still really coming to terms with things and realizing her love for Carlisle. They haven't really professed their love to each other yet. She just, at the moment, feels grateful for what he has done and saved her, and she knows she loves him, but she has a lot of doubt in her mind, and she feels very unloved. She feels that she is not able to be loved by someone else. In this particular story, Esme has been abused in her human life. She had a husband in her human life. It reminds me a lot of Rosalie's human life in which she was sexually assaulted. But in this sense, it's more of a domestic violence thing. The whole setup of the story starts out with the fact that Carlisle hasn't come home from the hospital yet and Esme worries about him. And of course, Edward can read her mind. She's still getting used to the fact of not only being a vampire, but realizing that Edward has that extra special gift. And I love that conversation. The conversation that the two of them have when basically Esme is practically saying nothing at all. Edward is just reading her mind and responding to her doubt. And then, of course, Carlisle comes home, and he is very upset about something, and only Esme can help him. This is most definitely my pick of the week, in all the right ways. And so, to this beautiful story, full of pain, anguish, and love, I give five apples. Congratulations. So, question of the day. Yesterday, I asked you all, what other obsessions have you had in your life other than Twilight? One of them was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think loving Buffy in my tween teen years really left me open to accept Twilight, which I honestly, I'm a lot more obsessed with Twilight than I am of Buffy. I didn't think I would be because, God, growing up, there was nothing better than Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Seriously. You all had some really awesome answers. Ellie Cullen was also a fan of Buffy, which is totally awesome. I know the girl that uh, actually writes Edge of Night is a huge fan of Buffy. She even has Chosen tattooed on her body, which is awesome. <laughs> really Doesn't Matter was a huge fan of Degrassi. Which I never watched Degrassi, but I can understand um, when you're younger and stuff, loving that show. Because I've heard some really great things about that show. So, since today is Fan Fiction Wednesday, and it's all about authors and their stories, today's question of the day is, other than the wonderful Stephanie Meyer, what authors do you love? You can list as many as you want because me, I have multiple favorites as well. And I promise this is going to be very relevant for the video that we're making tomorrow because we have um, some news for you all. Um, and it's not Twilight related at all, actually. So, what is your favorite authors other than Stephanie Meyer? Till tomorrow, everyone. Be safe.